And yeah, YouTube looks like the expansion box is working just fine. Powered everything back up. Also took the opportunity to blow the uh, dust out of the main unit. It had been about a year, I guess a little over a year since I've had it. So, uh, especially this, these, uh, the lettering here on the side is actually a, uh, the air intake and there's a, a filter grill behind there. So you need to uh, blow that out periodically. And then one other thing I did was over here and this is a, a kilowatt meter, that, and I have the expansion bay power supply plugged in, and that's pretty good news. It's only using 10 watts, so it's not that much of an extra power drain, and this is actually running. But the neat thing about that is that power supply is 12 volts, which means I should be able to run this off of my solar battery bank and it'll use less than one amp of uh, DC 12 volt DC power so I should be able to set up a little uh, power supply for this two options I'm considering one is to just run a oh like a 10 gauge maybe double 10 gauge wire from my battery bank over here and then put in a little boost buck converter to uh, you know, maintain 12 volt output, and that'll that'll handle if the system voltage goes over or under 12 volts. The other thing I might do is set up a small battery in in my office here, and have that hooked to the battery bank so that it kind of charges in uh, parallel to the battery bank, and then run the boost buck converter off of that battery. So that way, if uh, to take the battery bank out of service, the main batteries, I'll have a little battery here, so I could have, you know, maybe a 20 amp hour or 30 amp hour battery here, and be able to uh, run it like that. So, oh, I need to play around with that, but this is good news that it's only uh, 10 watts. That's pretty low power consumption.